It's May 2nd and I just got out of a really exciting meeting. We are full force wedding planning. We are aiming for September 1st for our wedding date. We are just going down our to-do list as fast as we can. I just recently started looking for wedding dresses and recently decided to do a custom gown at Lace and Liberty. The meeting that I had today was to discuss all of the details on how we're going to move forward. I have two main design styles in mind so I'm kind of leaning towards either a sweetheart neckline or a plunging neckline with a strap. The third idea that I had in mind was to do something with a sleeve. I feel like I really like a sleeve and when I shared some styles on Instagram a lot of people were actually gravitating towards the sleeve as well. What we thought of was doing a sleeve that I can kind of wear and take off. That way I can still have one of the top two ideas that I have in mind and still have a way to incorporate that third option. So that's one of the really cool parts about designing your own dress. We also went over a bunch of different laces and I looked at like three different racks that they have for lace and we settled on one of the laces that I had in mind which was actually on one of the sample dresses that I tried on. It ended up being one of my favorites so we're leaning towards that one for the design and I learned a lot of different things about the process like how they do the mock-up, how they lay the lace, just depending on on the cut of the dress and it's really exciting to be so involved in the custom process. I'm going to be taking you all along every step of the way and I couldn't be more excited to share this journey with you all. Yeah, I do like how this one is like a little bit deeper. That's a different lace, right? That's a same lace. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Change it to this one with no mesh, just a strapless. Yeah. A little deeper V. So here's like this mock-up that, you know, Rosie did. And what she does is she cuts out like individual pieces of lace and places them strategically to like form the design. This part would be, you know, see these little pins here. And then here you want it to be like more tapered and more delicate. So that's why like this small leaf is like a bit kind of thinner. This has like more organic. So it's not like exactly the same, but mm -hmm. it looks really complimentary. These are like bigger pieces that like fit into here. I just arrived at my second Lace and Liberty appointment. I'm a little bit flustered because before I left, there were actually two cars blocking my driveway, which made me a couple minutes late. Today, we are going to be reviewing the sketches Rosie started designing last week. So I basically told them a few things that I had in mind for my custom dress, and I'm going to review the sketches and look at the mock-up that she started. She did actually send me a preview via email last night, so I have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask her when I see her and a few changes that I want to make so I'm gonna just share my feedback with her. The Lace and Liberty's clientele is like kind of leaning towards half and half for people who come in and try the dresses on like me but then a lot of their clientele is actually online within the United States. They have customers from all over and I'm really glad that I'm local that way I'm able to kind of go in and see things in person that not every person has the opportunity to but what's cool about them is that they're very communicative and they share a lot of the sketches and the design process online via email. You definitely feel like you're a part of the creation process every step of the way. Today is a really exciting day because I'm going to be picking up my custom wedding gown. This was actually the first place that I ever tried wedding dresses at and I really fell in love with one of the dresses that they had in the sample section. However, I did customize my gown so I basically took the initial dress that I saw as inspiration and I added some things and took some other things away and made my very own custom gown of my dreams. I have been seeing pictures along 
the way via email and I was able to get my measurements done in person and all of that but they do do a lot of virtual work while I'm there I do want to give you a tour of the showroom they recently hired someone to redo a mural inside and I'm really looking forward to seeing it because the last time I was in getting my measurements done they were actually working on it I kind of saw the before and now I'm gonna see the after and get to share it with all of you I also wanted to show you some of the core collection that they have to kind of get the vibe of the showroom if you are in the Bay Area and want to come by and see what they have available for inspiration. So we did this whole process in a pretty short amount of time, but the process usually takes six to eight months. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you are on the market for a wedding dress. <laughs> wedding dresses. <laughs> While I'm here, I wanted to show you all some of the dresses that they have from their core collection. And I feel like it always makes such a difference to actually see something on the body. This is the first one that I picked out today and it's a charmeuse fabric. It's almost like a satin with a little sheen to it. And it just hugs the body so nicely. It is clipped in the back, but even without the clip, I feel like it lays really nicely. And Rosie designed this one, who is a designer who helped me put my dress together that I'm going to be picking up today. Shout out to her and I love this slit it's so sexy definitely more of like classic cut with a modern twist with this high slit and the back does have some button detailing down here which is really pretty I also feel like this V here and here are very flattering and help to accentuate the overall hourglass shape the next one I wanted to show you today is more of a ball gown style dress the majority of the fabric is tulle it does have this really beautiful exposed boning and it kind of reminds me almost of like the pattern a shell would have. I just think it's so pretty and like this part gives me almost mermaid vibes but then you have this really really fun skirt down here the color on this one is more of a ivory and it's really soft and feminine and beautiful I actually want to step into the mirror so you can see this detailing right here I feel like all these little details make the biggest difference in terms of making the dress really flattering this kind of pulls the eye forward and I feel like it's really slimming here in combination with the way that the waist kind of poofs out it just looks so beautiful together I wanted to show a good variety of the options that they have. This is the third dress that I'm trying today. They're all super different. This one has this illusion mesh, which is the way the dress is able to have this off the shoulder design without the dress falling throughout your ceremony or your party. And it also has this hand sewn lace applique. So this is kind of a similar concept to what we did with my dress. All of the lace was customized. So I want to walk a little bit closer to the mirror so you can see more of the details. The mesh is intended to kind of mimic your skin tone and be really understated. It kind of makes you look almost more tan and I feel like it creates this really beautiful shape right here as well and the way that the lace is applied to the dress is very thoughtful they take a lot of time to ensure that it looks almost the way that it would if it was just you know like a plant growing organically but to have it accentuate all the proper places on your body in terms of like where the dress is cut so you can see here that there's these two that kind of go down here and it just helps to create a really nice hourglass shape Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It's so pretty. Yeah, I wanted it to be kind of like I can hug it, you know? Like a shawl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a veil shawl. Yeah. Oh, I like what you guys did with the um, applique on all the sides. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> We might need to steam it a little bit I was going to say, do people steam it? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh, I love it. I can't believe like, <laughs> the day is finally here. <laughs> yeah. I really love the train. There's really nice photos for the train. Yeah. Especially like on the beach. Oh. Okay. Yay. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate oh. everything. I'll come back. I just got home from picking up my wedding dress and it's just been such an exciting and happy day for me. I can't believe the process is finalized. We are creating a little shrug style topper that is still in the making, but the dress and the veil are completely done. It's just such an amazing thing to have your vision come to life. Rosie was such an amazing help, the designer there. She gave me her feedback and I definitely guided the design, but she did give me her professional opinion, which was super helpful just because styling and picking out a wedding dress can be really overwhelming. I feel like a lot of brides go into it either knowing exactly what they want or having no idea what they want. And I was definitely the latter. I went in and I was like, I have to try stuff on and like see what I like and see what works well for my body type and for our venue. If you live in San Francisco or the Bay Area, I definitely recommend checking out the showroom. I had such a positive and seamless experience creating my gown, especially in the duration of time that we did it in. I'm so grateful for their team and that they were willing to accommodate my timeline. I also wanted to mention that they do offer design calls so you can speak with a designer and kind of tell them about your wedding and what you're looking for in terms of dress before you go in, especially if you're not in the area. But even if you are in San Francisco, you can still hop on a call and just decide if it's the right fit or if you're interested in making an appointment. And the design calls are completely complimentary, so there's no strings attached when making that appointment over the phone. Aside from that, I hope you had fun picking up my dress with me today. I'm so glad I was able to share this special moment with you all and I hope you enjoyed seeing the showroom at Lace and Liberty. They have so many amazing lace options, hence the name Lace and Liberty. I still can't believe that the first place I went to try dresses on is the place that ended up being the one. So I'm really grateful for that and I can't wait for our special day.